Jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, visit your son Jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, visit your son Jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions. Ave Maria, Ave Maria, Ave Maria, Ave Ave Maria, Ave Ave Maria. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As we now recite the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, let's bring before her all our petitions, our intentions, our day to day struggle, our sickness, our failures. We bring before Mother Mary all the students, those who are appearing for the exams. May I bless them with good health, body, mind, so that they write their exams well. Let's sign ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived with the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and received the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body, and the life of lasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy name, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires, lead all souls to heaven, especially as the most need of thy mercy. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, 
full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially as the most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen o my jesus forgive us our sins save us from the fires of hell lead all souls to heaven especially those who most need thy mercy the fourth glorious mystery the assumption of a lady into heaven with the body and soul our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen 
Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially as the most in thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of our blessed Mary with her glorious angels and saints. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. O God, His only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the words of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries in the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. We ask this to the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, then eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy own Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise Lord. Hallelujah. 15th March 2023 Testimonies. Jennifer de Souza Martins from Mumbai says, My neighbor's elder sister has conceived. My neighbor's elder sister was childless for eight years. The couple was told by doctors 
that she will never conceive due to extreme complications. So I started praying for her after a year. I had been to Logos on 17th and 18th February 2023 for the 3 p.m. service. During the service when Father Joseph announced that many childless couples will receive the gift of a child, I claimed it from my neighbor's sister. Also, I had written down this intention and dropped it in the box on the altar. On 1st March, my neighbor informed me that a sister is expecting and the doctors have confirmed it. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Leo Peter from Bangalore says, My niece has conceived. My niece, Rini, has been married for eight years and she had no children. I prayed in proxy for her. In one of the adorations, Father Joe called my niece's name from the pulpit and said, Your prayers are answered. During the following checkup, the doctor said she is pregnant. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Annalisa Cardoza from Goa says, I'm eight months pregnant. I did not conceive of having been married for one and a half years. I had to undergo surgery for removal of cyst and fibroids, and surgery was successful. After the surgery, I was not given guarantee of conceiving naturally. I had come to Logos Retreat Center and met Father Jos. Father blessed me and my husband. My parents, my husband, and I did the nine days ICU prayers. That very same month, I conceived, and I am eight months pregnant. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Joyce John says, the long-awaited government order is issued. I have been appointed as a government lecturer in Lady Doak College in November 2019, and I have been waiting for the government order since then. I have sent a prayer request, and I put the request in the Logos chat box during the live adoration from the beginning of March for myself and other staff who have been waiting for the government order. On 10th March, I received confirmation that the government order has been released. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Edna Vaz from Chennai says, I'm healed of the excruciating pain from my back to my toes. I had requested Father Jos prayed for the healing of the pa pain from my back to the tip of my toe, which was unbearable. On Sunday, 12th March, the pain was so bad, but I managed to attend Holy Mass in the church. The next morning, I experienced the word of God preached during the Holy Mass and healed me completely. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Vargi says, I'm blessed with progressive healing from sinusitis. In November 2022, I was seriously affected by sinusitis. I was not able to breathe, eat, talk, and sleep, even with medications. We have been attending the 3 p.m. healing adoration of Logos. A prayer request was sent to Father Joe's by email, and Father replied, stating that the Lord of Israel may grant my petitions at the earliest. I have also applied five things advised by Father, that is, prayer, care, medicine, word of God, and faith. Soon my condition improved considerably. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Gen Z says, I am blessed with the baby boy. I had prayed during the online adoration and sent a prayer request for my safe delivery. Praise God, I had a safe delivery and I am blessed with the healthy baby boy on 27th February 2023. Mary Felicia says, I am blessed with a very good job. After I quit my job in May 2022, I struggled so much for the past one year. I had many failures. I started praying during the 3 o'clock adoration for a very good job and I got the job with a good possession and a good salary which I did not even imagine. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Melvin says, I am blessed with my own house. We were praying at the Logos adoration for a house of our own. We have been blessed and have finalized a house with a beautiful garden with a lot of amenities which is under construction and is expected to be completed by the year 2025. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Rochel says, my toothache disappeared and my son has been promoted to the higher class. The other day, I was getting a very bad toothache. I prayed during the Divine Mercy hour from 3 to 4 p.m. By the evening, the pain just disappeared. I was praying fervently and my son was promoted to class 10. Also on 11th March, suddenly my father, who was 70 years old, was not responding and became very unsteady. That afternoon, as a family, we prayed before the Blessed Sacrament from 3 to 4 p.m. By the evening, he started getting better, and next day, he was perfectly well. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Carol Fernandez says, We got a favorable medical report and the section visas. I'm a 2021 Logosian. 
I had sent a prayer request to Father Jos to pray for mine and my husband's favorable medical reports and for our sex engine visas I used to put prayer intentions in a chat box after which both my prayers are answered. Thank you Jesus, praise you Jesus. Sikanka D. Cruz from Sri Lanka says, My daughter-in-law has conceived and my daughter has found a good life partner. We are following the 3 o'clock Eucharistic adoration for the fulfillment of our prayer petitions. My daughter-in-law, Mahisha, living in New Zealand, has miraculously conceived after four years of a marriage. And her confinement will be in September. Also, my daughter, Nicheli, found a good partner in life. She also received a student visa to New Zealand on 10th March and migrated on the same day. A semester fee of of rupees 73 lakhs to be paid got re reduced to only 60 lakhs. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Maria Adelaide Roderick says the cataract operation in one eye was successful. I underwent cataract operation for one eye and it was successful. I am praying for successful operation of the cataract in my other eye in the 3 p.m. adoration. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Rupa Lawrence says I am healed from arthritis. I was suffering with psoriasis and arthritis. I noticed that my 11-year-old daughter was doing the ICU prayer. Watching her, I too decided to pray with her. After praying for nine days, I'm healed and now I can walk freely with no pain at all. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Shanti says, I had a successful operation for removal of my uterus. I was recommended to remove my uterus, but I was not fit for the operation. My friend sent a prayer request to Father Joes and put prayer request in the chat box during the 3 p.m. adoration. The operation was a success and the doctors were amazed at my speedy recovery despite all the weakness in my body. I got discharged from the hospital yesterday. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Ludina says, I got ill of severe itching by the end of the Divine Mercy Chaplet. I suddenly woke up with severe itching all over my body at 3 a.m. I did some home remedies, but it did not help. Then I switched on the Divine Mercy Adoration and prayed with Father Jos. I did the binding and casting out prayer. After the last decade, I got healed. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Nancy says the kidney, which had to be removed, started functioning perfectly. My friend, Lorna, was diagnosed with a kidney problem. The doctors told her that she will have to remove her left kidney. She was so distressed. I told her to pray and every day I prayed for her during the Divine Mercy Adoration to get a new kidney. On revive, reviewing her results, the doctors said, nothing is wrong and a kidney is working perfectly fine. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Let's once again sign ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we are seated in the holiest of holies, waiting for the Lord, the powerful and wonderful God who is going to be enthroned on this altar. Along with this hymn, let's glorify Him, saying, Lord, You are beautiful. Your name is wonderful. We thank You and praise You for this wonderful gift of life. Thank You, Jesus. Praise You, Jesus. What a 
beautiful name it is what a beautiful name it is the name of jesus christ my king what a beautiful name it is nothing compares to this what a beautiful name it is the name of jesus you didn't born heaven without us so jesus knew Sin was great, your love was greater. What could separate us now? You didn't want heaven without us. So Jesus, you brought heaven down. My sin was great, your love was greater. What could separate What a wonderful name it is Nothing compares to this What a wonderful name it is The name of Jesus Let's all prepare a heart to welcome Jesus the King of Kings the Lord of Lords in our midst Let's all kneel down Looking at this beautiful altar Let's worship and adore the living God Oh, 
sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lifting up our hands and looking to Jesus. Every promise is going to be fulfilled in our life because book of Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 6 says God Almighty giving his blessing according to his promise. So the promise that God has given to us being fulfilled during this holy hour. Today the Lord gives a wonderful promise that is going to be fulfilled. Psalm 29 verse 11 is the promise word today. I am going to give you strength and I am going to give you peace. So these are the two blessings that we receive according to the promise that God has given. First promise, may the Lord strengthen to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. So strength and peace that comes to you now. Just transfix your hands on your chest. Keep on looking to Jesus. The power that is coming out from this sacrament. That power surrounds and rounds you. You are surrounded by that power. A great peace comes upon you now. Because that is the promise. I will give peace to all Logosians in Australia, Africa, South America, North America, Asia, Oceania, Europe, Arctic, Antarctic, and Middle East, everywhere. This is a promise. Those who are looking to Jesus now receive these two promises fulfilled. The strength and the peace. Keep on lifting up your hands. In the name of Jesus, I consecrate each and every one of you who are online right now and going to be offline any time. Let all their prayers be answered for the glory of God. And I bless this chat box and all intentions therein and all those who place their intention be blessed. All those who have sent their petitions today for this adoration through email, SMS, WhatsApp, regular mail, personal conversation, let all these intentions be fulfilled. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. As I kneel before you, as I bow my head. Fill me with your love, 
raising her right hand. Ave Maria, gracia plena, Dominus de. Let us join our hands in prayer and worship and pray after me Jesus my lord and master my lord and master i consecrate i consecrate my body my body mind, mind spirit, spirit family, family finances, finances and the whole universe and the whole universe to your eucharistic heart to, your eucharistic to the heart, immaculate heart of mary immaculate heart of mother and mary and to the divine mercy arc and to the divine mercy for great arc, transformation for the great and miracles and miracles amen. amen in the name of jesus i sprinkle the precious blood of jesus upon you so that the whole humanity be freed from the stony heart. God may give heart of flesh. Lord Almighty, write down your commandments of mercy and compassion in this new heart and strengthen everyone to practice it so that we may all have one heart, one mind, one spirit, one God, one worship everywhere in this world. Amen. Amen. Once again, we make the sign of the cross on our body and begin the opening prayer and we do this chaplet. For the fulfillment of all intentions that be placed on this altar and the promises are going to be fulfilled second peter chapter 1 verse 4 says god has given promises so that we all may share the wealth of god and the strength of god and nature of god and god gives always his nature in our life by his promises and the strength and wealth of god that we share with him that is the purpose of the promise which God has given. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 4 says, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Opening prayer, you, you aspired Jesus, Jesus but the source of life, life gushed that for the souls, and, and the ocean, ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world, world of found of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world, and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Father, Almighty, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven, heaven and earth. earth. I, I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ His only, only Son, our Lord. Lord. He, he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit and born of the Virgin, Virgin Mary. Mary. He, he suffered under Pontius Pilate, was, was crucified, died, died and was buried. buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Lifting up our hands, two areas are going to be strengthened. And in these two areas, we are going to receive peace as we have received the promised word today. Psalm 29 verse 11, that is going to be fulfilled in the family and in our finances. Those who have some concerns and problems in the family, extend your hands towards the sanctuary and pray. Now, 49 families where there is no understanding, always having fight. These families are being blessed right now. Thank you, Jesus. 49 families receive understanding and peace. Amen. And also, 98 persons who are suffering loss in their business, they are being blessed right now. In all our necessities and in all our areas of weakness, God is there to strengthen us. That is His promise. Where there is no peace, the Lord gives a joyful situation to assist and to work in the name of jesus i bless your families the lord may give you one heart one mind one spirit one god one worship in families assisting partner be turned as the best partner assisting children be spirit filled 
those who are childless may get the power to conceive and those who have less finances the lord may bless your resources and multiply it the spirit of multiplication may move over all over the world amen you aspired jesus but the, the source, source of life, life gushed for the, the souls and the ocean, ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world o found of life and father of divine mercy envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us o blood and water which gushed for from the heart of jesus as a fountain of mercy for us i trust in you now looking to jesus we begin the first decade of the chaplet for receiving wonderful blessing in our families and finances join our hands in prayer and worship once again recollect all intentions connected with family and finances these two areas are going to be blessed now let us pray for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world keep on lifting up our hands and pray together we worship and adore you christ our king in our families god has given us family and finances to worship him to adore him god has given us a beautiful house if you have not the lord is going to give you to worship god in our families and also the lord has given us finances to fulfill our responsibilities for related to our family and state and church we have responsibilities our finance which god has given to us to fulfill responsibilities connected with these three areas of our life let us worship god in our family shola hava la rasile hava la rasolo bala kia la rasala mala hava la hava la rasolo bala la rasala mala kia la rasolo mala la rasila la rasolo hala hava la rasila hava la rasolo kia la rasolo Let us look at this crucifix and to the blessed sacrament Jesus crucified and Jesus glorified this is Jesus crucified blessed sacrament is Jesus glorified in the name of Jesus i bind and cast out all negative spirits preventing you to achieve something good in your family all these spirits be bound at the feet of Jesus amen and your finances which are blocked and disturbed and being destroyed by spell curse or bondage let it be released right now in jesus name amen, amen. in 2006 one family came to me and told me the father of that family and the wife we have four children all of them are in uk united kingdom and they are in the district of kottayam one day one hand came invisibly and lashed against the back of my wife 
and five fingers appeared on her body that day on was she has spirit of infirmity one after another she has sickness children also being disturbed and they stopped contacting us one day i saw fire on my bedroom and my bed the middle of my bed a big hole appeared and fire came out so i poured out some water and quenched the fire i am totally disturbed as that man said one side there is spirit of infirmity another side broken relationship another side financial loss and fire in the family could you come and bless my house i had little doubt he might have uh, hallucinated it may not have fire on the bed without having any cause of it and only husband and wife in the family nobody put the fire on the bed i went along with him then i saw that there is fire burnt and uh, that black hole was there on the middle of the bed and what he said is correct that five fingers some days ago or some months ago being imprinted on her back is still there then i thought it is something demonic by random selection or by black magic or some other reasons maybe a supernatural cause or demonic cause there so we prayed together the divine mercy chaplet and uh, this prayer page number 103 binding casting out prayer so we all prayed together husband and wife and myself we bind you wicked spirit of disunity in this family wicked spirit of financial loss wicked spirit of infirmity in our family then bind them cast them out and send them to the feet of jesus and we praise god and thank god and within 10 minutes that prayer was over then i left to my monastery and one month after this man told me the following day on was my children started contacting us from uk and our relationship is almost strengthened and it is very strong and also my wife is no more sick and that five ping, fingerprint which was on her back disappeared and we have not seen any fire in uh, any of the rooms so there are demonic afflictions destroying our finance destroying our relationship destroying our health destroying our relationship among the siblings there if you and i have seen anything wrong or something not so normal immediately do not waste the time you have to apply three prayers first one consecrate everything to the eucharistic heart of jesus to the immaculate heart of mary and to the divine mercy ark page 15 then just pray binding casting out prayer page 103 after that one divine mercy chaplet divine mercy chaplet has the power of exorcism because we are just offering the ransom in the hands of the father by praying body blood soul divinity father we offer it in your hands as ransom for our rescue so divine mercy prayer has power of exorcism so whenever you and i experienced something unusual is not so normal scientifically cannot be explained but that real fact exists that time you have to apply these three prayers within nine days you will get a wonderful result of your prayer that day onwards you will see there are there is good relationship among the family members and also finances are being increased and enjoying moderate prosperity and also the relationship which is broken among the siblings or among the relatives or among the neighborhood started improving now we lift up our hands two areas of our life that we already prayed family and finances 
these two areas can be destroyed or disturbed by negative forces that's the reason with all our normal human effort we are not making any progress in the family relationship family must be heaven on earth and it's a domestic church and there should be peace and harmony but just contrary happened and also there is no children without having any reason no issues in the family no children in the family putting hard work but never enjoy moderate prosperity that means something demonic preventing you that time apply these three simple prayers you will get wonderful result of your prayer extend your hands towards the sanctuary recollect the promise word i am going to give you strength in your family i am going to give you strength in your finances and i am going to establish peace in your family and peace in your factory in your workplace or in your business in the name of jesus once again i pray over all logosians let each and every one enjoy peace and prosperity in family and in the area of their earnings the lord may touch you and bless you now amen amen now 125 people who are always having liabilities never they have come out of it and they have the burden of financial problems all have problems but some people have burdens attached to it 125 people who have burden attached to their finances are released right now amen thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus so today i have a testimony testimony number 12 shainanga from sri lanka giving a testimony my daughter in law has conceived and my daughter has found a good life partner we are following 3 o'clock eucharistic adoration for the fulfillment of our prayer intentions my daughter in law meenacha living in new zealand has miraculously conceived after 4 years of her marriage and her confinement will be in september so they have received one blessing then also my daughter nikeli found a good partner in life she also received her student visa to new zealand on 10th march and migrated on the same day her semester fee that is being paid and got reduced into 60 now we lift up our hands family and finances are being blessed so this testimony is a proof that when we pray the family is being blessed if there is no partner the lord gives the partner and the finance that is being supplied he gives what he has promised and second peter chapter 1 verse 4 to share god's wealth god has given promises and uh, when we believe in this precious promises that promise will be fulfilled in our life the second card of the chaplet we offer and we pray for freedom from persecution in the workplace or in the family or in the religious or in the prayer center and also we are tormented by our own sins we are going to be set free right now from this mental tormentation there are 300 people who have only tensions in their life are being relieved amen a person named meenachi you are just freed from you are excessive tension based character the lord gives you strength right now second timothy chapter 1 verse 7 we have received not the spirit of timidity but we have received the spirit of courage now we keep our hands down look to jesus we offer the ransom in the hands of the father as a remedy of all problems around us eternal father, father I, i offer you, you the, the body, body and blood, blood soul and, and divinity of your dearly, dearly beloved, beloved son our lord, lord jesus christ, christ in atonement for our sins and, and those of the, the whole world, world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world now we lift up our hands and sing together what a friend that we have in jesus consider jesus is always standing near to you and me and he is ready to help us what a friend we have in jesus all our sins and griefs to bear what a privilege to carry everything to god in prayer oh what we Keep our hands down. Testimony number 14. Ruba Lawrence giving a testimony. She was suffering from arthritis. I was suffering with psoriasis and arthritis. I noticed that my 11-year-old daughter was doing ICU prayer for me. And watching her, I too decided to pray with her. After praying, the nine days of icu prayer according to format given in this prayer book page 102 i am healed and now i walk freely with no pain at all so rupa lawrence being healed of psoriasis and arthritis after praying nine days that spiritual icu prayer and looking to jesus and cried and prayed So when we lift up this blessed sacrament generally after the third decade of the chaplet we lift up the blessed sacrament for a moment and look into Jesus and pray Jesus son of David how mercy on me or for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion our father how mercy on us and on the whole world and on our special intention that time power has come out day for us today we had a testimony of Melanie Fernandez from Scotland and she is attending thanksgiving retreat this week in this center she gives the testimony nine months she was paralyzed crippled medicine not working favorable and lying on the bed looking to jesus at three o'clock when the blessed sacrament is lifted up as she said when the blessed sacrament is being lifted up this is her testimony with the medical proof power came out some electric power came upon her that time she started responding positively and she is healed and she has come this week to attend the retreat in logos retreat center that means power is coming out as he promised there is power in the blessed sacrament and when we lift up john chapter 4 14 when i will be lifted up all people look at me from the world from seven continents and 235 nations the power coming out and also she has seen light from the sacrament so light and power like electric power came upon her that day she started recovering from her weakness what is the promise word psalm 29 verse 11 i'll i will give you strength and i will give you peace so i will restore your strength and restore your peace that promise is being fulfilled during this holy hour this is a message i received when i prayed in this morning 
And also the Lord says, Matthew chapter 7, 11. We the wicked people know what all good things we have to give to our children when they ask for when or they are not asking for we are ready to give good gifts to our children how much more the heavenly father waiting for us to give good things that we need if you then who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your father in heaven give good things to those who ask him so just now ask good things will be granted this is also a promise and when we claim these promises it will be ours if you do not know the promise there is nothing to claim when we hear this promise we know that 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 is for me i have to ask for it this asking is called claim it when we ask lord i need it what you promised i need it and god works according to his promise in our life so claiming the blessing means just asking for it god has promised i will give you best gift in your life you will not get it it's a promise you have to ask for lord you have promised it and you have revealed that you are working in my life according to your promise give me lord what you have promised that's the way you can claim it otherwise you are not claiming it you will not get it bible says if you ask how much more good things coming to you and if you are not asking you will not get it generally we all have received many blessings even without asking but that is not enough that is bare minimum but we have to multiply it and we have to ask for more what we need that all will be supplied now two areas are going to be blessed at the end of the second decade of the chaplet look at this crucifix this is another promise when the crucifix is being lifted up 1 Corinthians 1.18 There is power in it. That's why all are being blessed when I lift up this crucifix from this sanctuary. It's a promise. 1 Corinthians 1.18 Power is going out from the crucifix. I believe it. Because it is promised. It is written in the Bible. And Paul said, I preach Jesus crucified. And I preach from this pulpit Jesus crucified and also Jesus glorified. I preached together, crucified Jesus and glorified Jesus. And I ask you and request you always, just ask for the fulfillment of the promises. That is claiming the promise. Asking to God, Lord, you have promised that you will restore my health. Restore my health, Lord, as you promised. Suddenly it will happen in your life. That is the plan of God. Claim the promises. Keep on lifting up your hands. Hebrews 11.11 11, Sarah received power to conceive by faith, not by medicine, not by IVF, not by surrogate motherhood. Sarah received power to conceive and deliver by her faith. By faith, she claimed what was the promise to her, you will conceive. That's the promise. And all have received this promise. All those who are married received this promise. You will conceive because Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 Multiply and increase. This is a promise given to all married people. So no need to wait. Oh God has to come personally and give me a message. No, it is already given. Have dominion over everything. Be fruitful and subdue everything and multiply and increase praise the lord praise the thank, lord. You jesus. thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus god blessed them and god said to them be fruitful and multiply this is this promise is for all married couples and sarah believed it hebrews 11:11 11, 11, by faith she increased and multiplied in the name of jesus i pray over all childless According to Genesis 1, 28, 
they may receive the power to conceive according to hebrews 11 11 all barren couples and childless couples be blessed and power that that may receive now to conceive Amen. now the holy spirit may descend upon you overshadow upon you luke chapter 135 you get the power to conceive now conceive in the name of jesus all those who are childless make the sign of the cross on your womb that is being blessed now you will conceive praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus so always asking for the fulfillment of promises nothing wrong in it that is the way we can claim the promises in the name of jesus i set you free from the spirit of persecution those who have persecution at home extend your hands towards the sanctuary those who have persecution in your workplace extend your hands towards the sanctuary those who have persecution based on your religion in your place where you live extend your hands towards the sanctuary in any way if you are persecuted extend your hands and if you are persecuted by devil and demons and sins and multitude of sins and sin increases day by day romans chapter 7 verse 15 i do what i don't want to do romans chapter 7 verse 17 says the sin that remains in me prompting me and governing me subduing me and asking me to do what i don't want to do it contrary things are being happened always in fact it is no longer i that do it but the sin that dwells within me and romans 7:15 says i want to do good things but i am not able to do there are people in your house students children enemies people they do not want to do certain things but they are doing it the devil entered into them doing it in the name of jesus i set all logosians free from the dominion of devil dominion of sin and dominion of sickness in their life amen amen those who are persecuted right now let them be relieved receive the power to strike your enemies with the holy blindness until they are filled with the holy spirit receive the power to bind and cast out or evil one from the enemies receive the power to strike your enemies and receive the power to bind and cast out negative spirits from your dear ones the lord may give you power and anointing amen amen so these two areas sinful areas are being relieved you are freed from the spirit of sin second persecution that is being stopped now thank you Jesus. i have seen more than of 3700 people who are being persecuted in different places different ways are set free now thank no you no more your enemies dare to look at you or touch you or persecute you amen they have no strength to persecute you thank you lord hallelujah hallelujah they want to persecute but they have no strength to persecute they want to give bad words against you but they have no strength in their tongue to use it they want to see you and persecute you but they have no sight to see you what to do this is going to happen in the life of the logosians believe in the promise that promise by faith and by prayer you are claiming it by prayer and by faith claim it now we lift up our hands third card of the chaplet we pray together for healing of our inner wounds and freedom from fear and anxiety and depression and mental diseases and also we bind and cast out all negative spirits from all human beings this is a time of universal deliverance eternal father i, I offer, offer you the, the body and blood, blood soul and, and divinity, divinity of your dearly, dearly beloved, beloved son our, our lord jesus christ, christ in atonement, atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world lifting up our hands 
let us sing together now because he is alive i also will live he is alive so i can face tomorrow keep on lifting up your hands and extend your hands towards the sanctuary the power and grace coming out from the sacrament and you are relieved from your pain and fear sholo ho balagarai kasilai standing here Euteria Socorno from Goa kindly stand up he has come from Goa to make his thanksgiving retreat in Lagos he is in my right hand side i was suffering from severe psoriasis disease for last 12 years this brother standing here 12 years he was suffering of psoriasis and remedies tried many remedies tried but nothing gave him relief for 12 years i was also suffering from insomnia for last 15 years unable to sleep for more than 2 hours at night my life was miserable without sleep and psoriasis my wife regularly participated in logos adoration online healing adoration and claimed the healing for me in proxy claiming means prayed for the fulfillment of the promise miraculously i am healed from psoriasis and i came for thanksgiving retreat and i stepped into logos i am filled with the joy and blessed with the good sleep although and all through night these four days so this brother who is standing here having 12 years of psoriasis 15 years of so less sleep or insomnia he could sleep only 2 hours for 15 years after coming to logos these four days he is healed and at home he was healed of his psoriasis by online ministry and after coming here his healing or his strength regained he regained his strength and the insomnia is healed within these four days now he is sleeping Jesus. well Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. All glory and honor to Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Now, lifting up our hands. In the name of Jesus, I bind and cast out spirit of fear from you, spirit of insomnia from you, spirit of weakness from you and from your family, and also anything disturbing you. known and unknown spirit i command to you wicked spirit come out from the logosians and be bound at the feet of jesus and let the logosians be freed from the dominion of evil one in the name of jesus i pray that the lord may send the holy spirit upon you and all of you may receive the spirit of joy and courage Amen. now we all stand up in the name of jesus less self confidence more than 45 persons who are standing here being relieved Thank they have Jesus. less conf- less self confidence now they have confidence amen and also many have received spirit of apostasy faith is not so sharp tendency to go away from jesus this is called the spirit of apostasy now we are going to bind and cast out different spirit entered into the people they are going to be set free and also black magic will destroy your faith in this book galatians chapter 3 verse 1 oh galatians your trust and faith in jesus is completely gone the reason that somebody has done black magic against you foolish galatians 
who has done black magic against you bewitched you your uh, faith was so sharp now you have no faith at all and you are doing some kind of esoterical practices now you left the powerful means of healing and deliverance that is jesus christ and you have seen lot of miracles healings 2000 years miracles after miracles happened in the church but now two spirit entered into humanity spirit of apostasy and also spirit of anti christ because of black magic or esoterical practices or new age movement now all of you look at jesus crucified get the power once again and look to jesus in the blessed sacrament and brush up our faith in the name of jesus i bind and cast out all negative spirits from all human beings let everyone be filled with the holy spirit all of you pray after me all wicked spirit of greed anger pride and jealousy in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all bad spirit of apostasy entered into the life of believers in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all wicked spirit of anti christ entered into humanity and having hatred towards other religions in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all wicked spirit of infirmities and weakness entered into human body after covid 19 in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all wicked spirit of heart attack entered into humanity after covid 19 in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus there are many people who are already died because of heart attack that is a result of vaccination or covid 19 or some other reason anyway these days we hear that many people have uh, even small children and grown up people have heart attack now lift up your hands we are going to bind and cast out that spirit of heart attack spirit of weakness spirit of less immunity entered into humanity because of covid-19 all people of god just bind and cast out that spirit so that humanity be saved from the spirit of infirmities all wicked spirit of weakness heart attack and less health in human bodies in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all wicked spirit of mental disease and sickness in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all wicked spirit preventing the young people enter into marriage in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all wicked spirit that preventing life in the womb of the mothers in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all wicked spirit that destroying the peace of mind in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of all jesus all wicked spirit of lust and fornication and adultery in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of all jesus all wicked spirit of cruelty and dead under the human heart in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all wicked spirit of deceit and dead into the human mind in the name of jesus we bind bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all wicked spirit of criminality entered into human mind in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of all jesus all bad spirit of exploitation war and terrorism in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all crippled spirit make the people crippled and sitting on the wheelchair in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all wicked spirit of skin diseases in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of all jesus all wicked spirit of cyst and tumor in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all wicked spirit of depression in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus all negative spirits known and unknown troubling you day and night in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus now those who have special prayer intentions today these intentions are going to be fulfilled power is going to come out as today we have heard the testimony and two days ago that testimony was given live power has come out upon her something like electric power that day she is healed and she has given her testimony personally being present here now all of you may kneel down look to the blessed sacrament i am going to lift up this sacrament 
and we pray now your special intention is going to be fulfilled whatever it be our response will be for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion abba father have mercy on us and on the whole world and on my special prayer intention for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion abba father have mercy on us and on the whole world and on special prayer intentions for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion abba father have mercy on us and on the whole world and on our special intention for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion abba father have mercy on us and on the whole world and on our special prayer intentions the god of israel according to first samuel 117 god of israel may grant your petitions right now three persons who have throat cancer are being healed now amen thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus a person who has excessive thyroid complaint hyperthyroidism nancy by your name you are being healed craso you are being healed of your diseases madhavi the lord has blessed you and healed your diseases thank you dion the lord has answered all your prayers caleb the lord has answered your prayers Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mary Ann the Lord has answered your prayers right now. Sumida the Lord has answered your prayers. Shashidran the Lord answered your prayers right now. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shashadri the Lord has answered your prayers. You are looking to Jesus now. and you have a lot of trust in jesus your prayers are being answered Amen. raj kobal the lord has answered your prayers thank you jesus cecilia the lord has answered your prayers thomas right now you are extending your hands towards jesus and try to touch him the power is coming out thomas you are healed of your disease thank that you is jesus. in your stomach your stomach disturbances and also your cancer in the stomach is being healed and your name is thomas Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. And what you are doing now you are trying to touch Jesus Jesus touched you now. Amen. There are 11 people who are admitted in the ICUs of the hospital they are start responding to the medicines now. Thank Positive you, changes being happened. Thank you Jesus. Three children who met with accident admitted in the hospital they are being healed now. Thank you Jesus. And also more than of 33 cancer patients look into Jesus by online they are being healed. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Today 49 persons who are suffering of psoriasis are being blessed. Amen. And Thank healed. You. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we lift up our hands for the decade of the chaplet we pray together for receiving physical healing. We are being healed by care, prayer, medicine, word of god and faith. these five elements we apply one after another or together for receiving healing that is the will of god we have to receive our healing by care prayer medicine word of god and faith now extend your hands towards the sanctuary if you are sick matthew 15:30 people were looking to jesus expecting to touch him but jesus sent power from his body and he healed everybody without touching them they also have not touched many of them were crippled and paralyzed their hands were not moving but jesus sent the power and all of them were cured that same power is coming out from the blessed sacrament four persons whose eyesight badly affected now they are healed thank you jesus thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus for healing of our physical ailments let us pray together the fourth decade of the chaplet eternal father, father i offer you, you the, the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world yes steven the lord has healed you of physical ailments Amen. regina the lord calls your name and heals your name heals your sickness by Thank name you, Thank you, isaiah 49 verse 1 God knows your name God has given you the name and he calls out that name to give you the healing and a particular blessing at the end of the fourth decade of the chaplet we all pray uh, together for healing of physical ailments one testimony that I have received testimony number nine Marvin giving a testimony I am blessed with my own house which was impossible we were praying at Logos Adoration for a house of our own. We have been blessed and have finalized a house with a beautiful garden and with a lot of amenities which is under construction and is expected to complete by year 2025. So I am able to have that wonderful house through this prayer. Now extend your hands and touch the wounds of Jesus first. Saint Thomas touched the wounds of Jesus and he said John 20:28 20, my lord my god Jesus said to him Thomas even though you have not seen me you believe then you will receive and blessed are the people who believe in me without seeing me without touching me but you touch me Jesus asked Thomas after touching the lord he said my lord my god now touch the blessed sacrament Jesus asks you to touch him Mark chapter 5 30 one woman touched Jesus she had been suffering 12 years because of that unhealed ailment she was compelled to come for a prayer session led by Jesus with an internal force she went and touched the fringe of the clock of Jesus and Jesus said power has gone out who has touched my clothes she was healed touch him we touch the blessed sacrament and the crucifix that's better than touching the cloth of Jesus how much more power that we receive right now when we touch the crucifix when we touch the blessed sacrament we get a better power than touching the cloth of Jesus. Touch him by faith. In the name of Jesus, I bless all the sick and suffering. In Jesus' name, Amen. amen. I bless your hands. All of you may receive delegated healing right now because Jesus said, Matthew chapter 10 verse 8, Those who believe in me, cure the sick. Heal the sick. Receive this power to heal the sick. When you lay your hand on you or on others, let them be healed and let your diseases be healed. I bless your hands. Receive the gift of healing. Thank you, Jesus. Place your hand on your chest or on your sickness. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of infirmity. Blindness. Mute and deaf spirit. Come out right now and be bound at the feet of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 50, 35. Isaiah 35, verse 5. When Jesus comes, lame will walk, blind will receive sight, crippled will walk, and possessed will be released, and prosperity will be restored, even rewards will be formed in the wilderness, and desert will be turned like a garden in the name of Jesus. I pray that this promise in Isaiah chapter 35, 5 and 6 be fulfilled in your life right now. Let your eyes be healed. Let your stroke be healed. Now 14 people who have been afflicted with brain stroke are being healed. Thank you Jesus. Somebody's ear damaged. 
being healed right now Thank vertigo you, is being healed amen many are healed of their kidney failure Thank you, you are under dialysis right now no more need of dialysis the lord gives you new kidneys believe it and receive it right now the skin is being healed your finances is being restored your broken family is being restored into good relationship barren couples receiving power to conceive epileptic children are being healed now amen thank you jesus somebody's excessive hemorrhage and gynec complaint more than out 39 persons are being healed today 84 childless couples getting power to conceive thank you lord the spirit of the lord may overshadow upon you and you may come out of your weakness i rebuke the spirit of infirmity and spirit of sickness in you right now be healed in jesus name amen amen make the sign of the cross on your chest on your forehead and on your sickness that is gone thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you lord five bedridden people who are paralyzed they are get, they are getting power to walk thank you jesus now we pray for anointing of the holy spirit the lord gives a message lamentations chapter 3 verse 22 every time the mercy and compassion of god is fresh and new this is called the fresh anointing the steadfast love of the lord never ceases his mercies never come to an end and verse 22 says ongoing anointing is going to take place they are new every morning a fresh anointing going to come upon you and you are going to become fresh great is your faithfulness all of you may lift up your hands wait for fresh anointing of the holy spirit jesus breathe upon you that breathing that you can feel right now somebody is breathing upon you somebody places his hand on you that is jesus jesus is risen that jesus is moving all over the world now he has come to your place and he has placed his hand on you luke chapter 440 Jesus placed the hand on each and every one and he baptized them with the fire and the spirit by touch he has healed everyone Luke chapter 4 4040 Jesus laid his hand on each and every one and healed everybody now Jesus placing his hand on you eternal father i, I offer, offer you, you the body, body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our, our lord jesus, jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world fatima you are being present here and being filled with the holy spirit rechina you are being present here and the holy spirit descending upon you right now thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah emmanuel the lord calls your name and heals your diabetes thank, thank you jesus thank you jesus somebody's right hand which is paralyzed and not able to use it now something like electric power moving through the right hand that person is being healed amen all those who are online right now being touched by the lord and healed come here to attend a thanksgiving retreat and give your live testimony take that decision then you will be here the lord will allow you to be here and to give you our testimony now place your hand above your head fresh anointing going to take place the spirit of the lord may descend upon you anointing may take place right now as the lord has promised every morning every evening every night every day the anointing is fresh in you samuel poured out the oil on david first samuel 16:13 that moment onwards holy spirit permanently rested upon david david became very powerful first samuel 
chapter 17 verse 35 that anointing helped David to open the jawbone of the lion and rescue his lamb. 1 Samuel 16 13 the power rested upon him permanently. 1 Samuel 17 35 that power was in operation. That power has gone out to rescue the lamb. Now such kind of power going to rest upon you. You will break the head of the enemies. You will tumble the head of the snakes and scorpion. And you will bind and cast out evil spirit hereafter. Whatever you say in the name of Jesus that will happen. Even when you command the mountains it will obey you. Mountain like problems will disappear. The tumor and cyst will disappear when you command. Such kind of anointing power going to rest upon you hereafter. Jesus as you promised. Baptize your children right now around the world. So that they may get a wonderful power of the Holy Spirit resting upon them. Let all negative powers be crushed down at the feet of Jesus now. And all of you may receive fresh anointing. Acts chapter 4 verse 31. Fresh anointing entered into a room. And that room was shaken. People were taken up by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now the same power comes upon your room. Upon you. And in the place where you are. The difficulty in your life that you are going to overcome by the help of the paraclete. Let that Holy Spirit move over you. Thank Let you. that Holy Spirit overshadow upon you. Amen. Impossible things may become possible. Luke 135, Spirit overshadows. Impossible things become possible. Those who have some impossible things in their mind, ask to the Holy Spirit now. Lord, make it possible. You, it is possible. It is possible. Now lift up your hands. Pray together. Holy God. Holy, holy mighty, mighty one, one. Holy mortal one. one have have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. world. Holy God. Holy, holy mighty one, one. Holy mortal one. one have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God. Holy mighty one. Holy mortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. world. Closing prayer. Eternal, Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of our compassion in us look kindly upon us, increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with a great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Those who have come for a social retreat, please go for your schedule. Blessing prayers. In the name of Jesus, I bless this salt. Let this salt get the power to heal the sick and cast out demons. And I bless this water. Let this water get the power to heal the sick and cast out demons. I bless this water by the sign of the cross. Let the Holy Spirit descend upon it. And whenever you use it, you may get freedom from lifestyle diseases and incurable diseases be healed. Let this water be blessed now. In the, and, and the pious articles are going to be blessed. Just trace the sign of the cross on all the pious articles. In the name of Jesus, I bless all these articles that you intend to get blessed and on which you have already traced the sign of the cross. Let all these objects be blessed right now. Amen. And I bless all the intentions in the chat box. Let it be blessed and all intentions in the intercessory box and you have sent through email, SMS, WhatsApp. Let all these prayers be answered for the glory of God. Amen. Lift up your medical report. That is going to be changed today. In the name of Jesus, I pray over your medical report. Let this medical report be changed favorably after your spiritual ICU prayer. Lift up your prayer intentions and list of lost articles. In the name of Jesus, I bless the list of your intentions. Let it be fulfilled. The list of your lost articles, Jesus may help you to find it out at the earliest. In the name of Jesus, I pray and bless your family and bless your building and your compound, your factory, your business center, study materials of the students and scholars. Jesus may give you wonderful blessing in all areas of your life. Amen. Those who have some testimonies and prayer intentions, please send to this email ID. Those who have a love offering, 
our contribution for feeding the poor and also clothing the poor and giving houses for them, FCN program, house, shelter, clothes and food for the poor people. You can use these bank details after the transfer. Send your mail and information to logosblr at gmail.com. I will issue the receipt for your contribution. Non-Indian password holders, please contact the office directly for the same purpose. Forthcoming Divine Mercy Convention we have arranged on Good Friday to first Sunday after Easter. Please share this link with everyone now itself. Let them prepare because this Divine Mercy Feast after the pandemic will be a great feast for us. And this is a feast of all religions because all religion and in all faith people believe that God is merciful and compassionate. So all humanity can celebrate this feast without having any religious connotation. So inform everybody and share this Logos Voice link with 100 people every day. And also if you just subscribe it automatically, you will get all the announcement of Logos Retreat Center on your screen without having much effort. Then it is easy to participate our daily program. So please subscribe it. As usual, we have um, reflections from New Testament this year. 260 reflections we have already prepared. Now we have reflections from Acts of the Apostles. It's a wonderful scripture part in which the human mind is going to be anointed by the same spirit moved during the apostolic time when we read or study the Acts of the Apostle, same type of power will come upon us. Same type of miracles we will witness around us. That's the reason we have the reflections from Acts of the Apostle, 28 chapters. Now I invite Brother Rehu to give this reflection for half an hour. After that we celebrate the Eucharist. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We sign ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So, my dear friends, we continue our reflections on the study of the gospel, Acts of the Apostles, the Gospel of the Holy Spirit, as it is called. You know, Acts of the Apostles are divided into two sections. The first 12 chapter, it's about the ministry of in Palestine and the leadership of Peter and the rest of the chapters is the proclamation of the kingdom of God outside of Palestine under the leadership of St. Paul. Today we are in the first section and chapter 11. Chapter 11 is actually a continuation of what we heard yesterday. So the key verses which we are going to take for reflection verses 1 to 3, 7 to 10, 12 14 to 18, 20 to 21, and 25 to 28. Let me repeat, 1 to 3, 7 to 10, 12 to 18, 20 to 21, and 25 to 28. 
Let's read Acts chapter 11, verses 1 to 3 now. 1, 2, and 3. Now the apostles and the believers were in Judea, heard that the Gentiles had also accepted the word of God. Next verse. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers criticized him, saying, why did you go to the uncircumcised men and eat with them? So what's happening, my dear friends? We know yesterday when we reflect on 10, Jesus had gone to the house of Cornelius and the entire household along with all the friends of Cornelius, the Gentile people had received the Holy Spirit and Peter was there with them, having a community with them. And now when he went back to Jerusalem, the circumcised Jews are questioning him. How come you went to the uncircumcised? How did you do that? All these questions are coming. My dear friends, the news of Peter's reception of the uncircumcised Gentiles in church had a harsh objection from the other people. But then, we need to understand the plan of God. As I told you, this is what we started yesterday reflecting on. God's plan of salvation was not restricted to a group of chosen people. But his plan of salvation for the entire humanity. These people were chosen as instrument to bring about the salvation of God through everything they do. That's what the church is also teaching us. The Catechism of the Catholic Church, Article number 60, 60. The people descended from Abraham would be the trustees of the promise made to the patriarchs. The chosen people called to prepare for that day when God would gather all his children into the unity of the church. They would be the root onto which the Gentiles would be grafted on once they become believers. So how beautifully the church is teaching. He says, they will be the root on which the Gentiles will be grafted on. We all know about the grafting method. Am I right? What's grafting? Okay, so when a branch is weak, unnourished, what happened? It is cut and tied with another branch which is healthy. This is called as grafting. So every nutrient from the main branch goes on to the weak one. Now God has designed the church like that. So he chose the Jewish people, not because they were special. He chose them to be the main root so that when the Gentiles are grafted onto them, the Gentiles will receive the mercy of God. Now, what happens if I as a root tell, no, this nourishment is only for me. Nobody else should be granted on me. It's working against the command of God. And that's exactly the point Peter is pointing here. Then what happens to convince his point he goes on to tell about the vision that he had when he was sitting on the roof, sleeping on the roof of Simon the Tanner. Let's read verses 7 to 10 now. Same chapter, Acts 11, verse 7 to 10. A few verses we'll read. He said, I also, he's seeing a vision of all the, you know, big banner like thing with all the unclean animals put in that. Then he said, I also heard a voice saying to me, get up Peter, kill and eat. Next verse. But I replied, by no means, Lord, for nothing profane or unclean has ever entered into my mouth. But a second time the voice answered me from heaven, what God has made clean, you must not call profane. Last one more verse we'll read. This happened three times, then everything was pulled up again to heaven. So Peter says he's narrating what happened the previous day. We already saw in chapter 10 what happened. He says three times he had this vision. He was confused about it. That's when the Spirit of God is convincing him. It's not about the unclean animal that he has to eat. It's about inclusiveness of all the Gentiles in the kingdom of God. So he says, for that reason I went there. He's saying, not because I wanted to, but it was a clear message of God. Following the instruction of God, following the message of God, he goes and preaches the good news to everyone. And that's exactly what we heard a few minutes back, Father in announcing the mercy, feast of mercy is for entire creation. My dear friends, that's the message of God. Mercy and love is the message of God, nothing else. Everything else manifests from that message of love and mercy and that's for every humankind and that's exactly what Peter is telling them. When you read verses 12, he, what happens there? The Spirit told me to go with them and not to make a distinction between them and the and us. Okay, look at this. What is Peter saying? The Spirit told me not to make a distinction. So if God's Spirit, the Holy Spirit is giving a clear indication, 
that nobody is to make a distinction. This message is right there for you and me even till today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So it becomes a, an obligation on you and me to see that the message of mercy is reaching to everyone without having any kind of distinction. I cannot say, how can we preach this message to that person? We are called to do that. Whether they accept it or not is not our choice. We don't have to worry about that. This is not about result oriented. What we need to do, we need to do that. And that's exactly Peter, he did not know. When he went to the house of Cornelius, he did not know what is going to happen there. But following the instruction of the Holy Spirit, he goes. The Spirit guides us. Today, many of us are praying for the Holy Spirit. Many people say, I want the anointing, I want the anointing. My dear friends, most of us are confused about it. We want the Holy Spirit only for some manifestation of some gifts and charism, which is good. I'm not saying it's bad. But do we also understand the main mission of the Holy Spirit is to take the good news of God everywhere? And are we cooperating with that? Praise the Lord. Why? Yesterday I was asking the four marks of the church. What is that? What are the four marks of the church? I didn't hear you. Four pillars. It's called the four marks of the church. Okay, I'll tell you, don't worry. Not the four marks we get in our examination. Praise the Lord. What are the four marks? One, holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We confess that in the Nicene Creed, no? One, holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. When you find time, read the catechism of the Catholic church. 811 to 865. Long passage. 811 to 865. The four marks of the Catholic church. What is that? As Catholics, we should know that. What is our mark? One, holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. Let me read one, one CCC for you. 811. This is the sole church of Christ, which is the creed we possess to be one, holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. These are the four characteristics or the four marks inseparable, linked with each other, indicate the essential future of the church and her mission. So, the essential nature and the um, mission of the church is what? One, holy, catholic and apostolic. Okay, let's leave the three marks. I'm going to focus on one mark now. Catholic. How many of you are Catholics here? I know, wrong question to ask you. But that's okay, you can answer that question, no? Are you? Then put your hand up. What, is, what do you mean by Catholic? Huh? If as a Catholic, I do not know what a Catholic means, what is the point in being a Catholic? Catholic means universal. What does it mean? Universal. Praise the Lord. That means when we say one holy Catholic and apostolic church, it's one church, it's holy because the founder is holy, it's Catholic because it's universal, apostolic it's because, see, Peter is spreading that. Apostle, apostle, it's built on the work of the apostles. Now coming to the mark of uh, Catholic universal. So when we say universal, it includes everyone. So when we talk about a Catholic church, it means inclusiveness of all the believers. Of course, there's a distinction. There are certain things that a baptized person can receive. We are not going into those details now. But it's a banner in which everyone is welcome. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Catechism of the Catholic Church 831, 831 says, the church is Catholic because she has been sent out by Christ on a mission to the whole of human race. My dear friends, the church is Catholic. You and I are Catholic. Why? We have been sent out on a mission to the entire human race. Now tell me how many of us are Catholics? Oh, we call ourselves Catholic, but are we going out to the entire human race? All men are called. I continue reading that. All men are called to belong to the new people of God. Who are the new people? The church. He made human nature one in the beginning and has decreed that all his children who were scattered should be finally gathered as one. The Catholic Church ceaselessly and efficaciously seeks of the return of all humanity under Christ the head in the unity of his spirit. So that's the mission of the church. And that's exactly what Peter is telling thee. Jewish circumcised Christians, they are saying, how can you go eat with uncircumcised people? They are unclean, they are not holy. My dear friends, who are we to call them unholy? But what God has made holy, who are we to call us unholy? Therefore, the universality of the church is for everyone and we are called to be a part of, well, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Then Peter goes on to say what Cornelius said to Peter. Cornelius told Peter, yesterday we read that, 
that God will give a message through Peter. Let's read verses 14 and 15. Acts 11, 14 and 15. He will give you a message by which you and your entire household will be saved. Next. And as they began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them just as it had been upon us at the beginning. What at the beginning? Which beginning? For the day of Pentecost. He says, God will give a message by which your entire household will be saved. So, when we proclaim the message of God, the salvation is for the entire household. If you are sitting here and listening to God's word, this promise is not only for you, for your entire household. This is what today's message is giving. My dear friends, when you come, maybe you are a single member, you are coming here. But God's promise is that when we proclaim the good news, the promise of that is for your entire family. That's exactly what Peter says. He will give you a message by which your entire household will be saved. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We sitting here and listening to the message given by God brings graces upon the entire family. There's enough examples in the Bible. Noah. When God sin multiplied on the face of the earth, God found one righteous person called Noah. Noah was righteous, but what happens? The entire family of Noah is saved. Am I right? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's read one word of God. Uh, Genesis chapter 12 verses 3. Book of Genesis chapter 12 verse 3. This is a promise made to Abraham. What did God promise Abraham? I will bless those who bless you and the one who curses you I will curse. And in you, all the families of the earth will be Listen to this money. In you, all the family. In you, your entire family. In you, your entire family will be blessed. Praise the Lord. Now you also, sister. She's looking, why not me? I just pointed at a few people. That's the promise of God. Remember Job. Job was the righteous man, am I right? And his entire family was blessed. So you see this promise. And the Holy Spirit falling upon us is an anointing for the entire family. Praise the Lord. I'll read a testimony for you. To make you understand this, this is a testimony. Uh, Eugene is right, she writes like this My granddaughter Melanie was not getting proper sleep. The whole day and night she used to be restless. After the ICU prayer, because after I reciting the ICU prayer, now she sleeps well in the afternoon and the night. My excess hair fall is stop and after using medical oil, blessed salt, in which Father Joe's blessed the salt during the adoration, also the ulcer in my mouth and boil on my tongue, which was suffering with pain for three to four years, swelling on my right foot is healed when I apply the blessed oil on the altar. Praise the Lord. Look, this grandmother is reciting or is, 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 she is doing an ICU prayer for a granddaughter who is not having proper sleep. And because of the prayer of a grandmother, the granddaughter is getting healed. Nice, no? How did it happen? Simple. What did he say? He will give you a message by which your entire family will be healed. So we can stand in proxy for our family and do that, my dear friends. Of course, it's always good to encourage them also to be a part of it. But don't worry. Let it begin with us. This is the promise of God for the entire family too. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then Peter is going and justifying this. Let's read Acts 11, 17 and 18 now. Verses 17 and 18. If then God gave them the same gift that he gave us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I that I should hinder God? Next verse. When they heard this, they were all silenced and they praised God saying, the God has given even to the Gentiles the repentance that leads to life at this my dear friends there are two messages here in these two verses number one Peter says if God has given me the same same anointing to them now here is where many people have the problem they say I pray I come to logos every day I am online every day but that person she came only for one day and she's being blessed more blessed than me who are we to question that praise the Lord hallelujah if we are here every day it's because God has given this grace to be here every day and not only that, the first given, gift given to them was what? Repentance. The first gift of the Holy Spirit is what? Repentance. My dear friends, that's the primary gift. The moment we are drawn to the mercy of God, the first gift that God gives us is repentance. And that leads to life as the word of God says. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in Gentiles reveal that they were to be welcomed into the people of God as e on an equal basis. Praise the Lord. I have come across many people from other faith who are being anointed by the Holy Spirit, having the gifts and charisms. Well, we may try to question, oh, we are all traditional Catholics. How can they have these things? And we try to say, no, 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 it's all an acting. My dear friends, who are we to distinguish? The church says the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in Gentiles is a clear sign that we have to welcome everyone on an equal basis. What God has anointed, we cannot reject. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Catechism of the Catholic Church 1086 tells us like this. Accordingly, just as Christ was sent by the Father, so also he sent the apostles filled with the Holy Spirit. This he did so that they might preach the gospel to every creature and proclaim that the Son of God by his death and resurrection. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a beautiful thing. He says they may proclaim. And that's exactly what happened. Now, among these group, there were certain people from Cyprus and Cyrene. Let's read verses 20 and 21 now. Acts 11, 20 and 21. But among them, there were some men from Cyprus and Cyrene who on going to Antioch spoke to the Hellenist, also proclaiming the Lord Jesus. Next verse. The hand of the Lord was with them and a great number became believers and turned to the Lord. Now look at this. These people, when Peter was telling all these things, some of them, they are going to some other place and they are proclaiming Jesus Christ and God is confirming that with signs and wonders. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, for example, I am proclaiming from here. You are listening. You go back and proclaim to someone. Signs and wonders will be performed. That's the promise of God. And that's what we need to do. He's confirming every proclamation through signs and wonders. And that's what the church is also teaching us today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me read another testimony for you. This is from Lizabeth. says, my brother-in-law, Meldroy Saldana, has been healed of his paralysis. Meldroy had suffered a paralytic stroke on the 1st February 2023. An MRI scan report showed a very large blood clot in his artery in his brain, due to which his whole left side was paralyzed. As a family, we immediately start praying as we have been Logosian since 2021. I kept his report on the altar and the Divine Mercy icon and started the spiritual ICU prayer on the 2nd Feb. I, was, I had also sent a prayer petition to Father Joe requesting his prayers and Father Joe replied that Jesus will give us an answer. We are happy to testify that Jesus healed, he indeed answered our prayers and with prayer, care, medication, and physiotherapy, Melroy has started to walk now and can lift both his hands. As a family, they started praying. Various prayers they mentioned. And because of that, this person who was paralyzed on one side is completely healed. This is what I said. When we start doing, God will confirm everything with signs and wonders. This is not a, a, a vain talk we are giving. This is what the Bible says. This is what we practice here. And that is what is being testified also. Everything is testified. Now let's come to the last part of it. Verses 25 onwards. Something very interesting I have for you here. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul. Okay. And when he had found him, he brought him to... Okay, let's hold on here. How many of you are Christians here? Christians means including of Catholics. Raise your hand up. Including Catholics, I said. Put your hand up. If you are, you put your hand up, No. How do you know you're a Catholic or a Christian? Okay, suppose she is introducing herself to you and she comes and tells your sister, I'm Edna. Edna, no? Well, you know she's a Christian? By the name, I come and introduce myself to you first time. I'm Raghu. Will you know I'm a Christian? Am I not a Christian? Then why? So often we rest restrict our Christianity to our names and through the baptism. I'm not saying that's not important. But who's a Christian? Who's a Christian? Who lives in Christ? Can you read verses 26 now? And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was an entire year they met with the church and taught a great many people. And it was in Antioch the disciples were first called Christians. Praise the Lord. So what were the disciples? They were so for one year the church met in Antioch. They were discussing various things. And in the evenings, they did not know what to do. So they used to go around the town of Antioch and proclaim Jesus Christ or witness to Christ. The people of Antioch did not know how to call these people. Since they are witnessing to Christ, they started calling them 
So who is a Christian? Who witnesses to Christ. Of course, your baptism, faith, all that is necessary. But that does not complete our Christian vocation. Our Christian vocation is completed when we witness to Christ, my dear friends. This is what today's scripture is saying. Let's continue reading that. Next verse. At that time, prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch. Yeah. One of them, named Agabus, stood up and predicted by the Spirit that there would be a severe famine all over the world. Now look at this. A confirmation of all these things is not only the healings and miracles, prophetic messages. Prophetic messages. That's the charism of the Holy Spirit. My dear friends, when we start proclaiming the good news, how does the Spirit manifest? It, it transforms the people. People get, you know, uh, touches the heart of people. There are transformation. And also signs and wonders, as we told you. And then prophetic messages will come. God will caution us. Here he is predicting. And as he had predicted, you see, there become a famine. So how does it manifest in the church? When we are faithful to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, when we do the mission or Christian vocation of proclaiming the good news, God will confirm every proclamation with signs and wonders. And then the Holy Spirit will start manifesting in the forms of gifts and charisms too. And that's exactly what you say here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So my dear friends, today's message, what Peter told the circumcised Jews is very clear. We are not called to distinguish between anyone, but anyone who is ready to accept the message of good news without any distinction, we are to proclaim because God does not see any distinction between a Christian and a non-Christian, a Catholic. And above all, the very mark of the church, Catholic means universal, inclusiveness of all, everyone. Therefore, if we call ourselves as Catholic, let's remember we are called to be inclusive of everyone. That is, we are not supposed to find any distinction, include everyone in the plan of God's salvation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that, for that, we need to play our role of proclamation. When we do that, as Peter said, a message will be given. When we proclaim the message of love and mercy, God will confirm it through signs and wonders and then the charisms will grow. The church will be built up. Let's close our eyes for a moment. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us the grace to understand the call of every Catholic to be inclusive of every creation. Give us the grace to respond to this call of the Catholic Church. Heavenly Father, we make all these prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now and ever shall be, world without, without end. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us all kindly kneel. Down in a door, ration falling. Lo, the sacred host we hail. Lo, ration forms departing. Newer rites of grace prevail. For all defects apply, where the feeble senses fail to the everlasting Father and the Son who reigns on high. With the Holy Ghost proceeding Forth from each eternally Be salvation, honor, blessing Might and endless majesty Amen Okay, well.
was part from heaven Containing itself all sweetness Let us pray O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament Love to say memorial of your passion We implore you that we may so venerate The second mysteries of your body and blood As always to be conscious of the fruit of your redemption You who live and reign forever and ever Amen O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Just like a child who trusts his father dear And who delights to feel his presence near Just like a child whose mind has not a doubt And whose heart is never proud Here I come, O oh Lord Here I come just like a child here I come, O oh Lord Here I come just like a child Just like a child, so weak he cannot stand But who holds him and tied his mother's hand Just like a child, who sings in bright delight Fearing not the long dark night here I come, O oh Lord Here I come just like a child Here I come, O oh Lord Here I come just like a child Here I come just like a child Here I 
come just like a child. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Let us pray over all the intentions of today. Jesus loving Lord, we surrender all the special intentions, thanksgiving masses, birthdays, jubilee of matrimony and other celebrations. Also we pray for all the souls in the purgatory, all the departed souls, and all those who have sent these mass intentions today. Let their prayers be answered. All the needs and requests be answered by our blessed Lord through this celebration of Holy Eucharist. Those who are present right now here and also those who are in online sending their prayer requests through the chat box. People all over the world let all of us be blessed. Let all our intentions be unsaid. We in a special way pray for any spe special intention in our heart or mind right now. Surrender it upon this altar so that our blessed Lord together with his body and blood take it to our heavenly Father for the blessings. To prepare ourselves for this great celebration let us recall all our sins and failures and purifying our heart, soul, and mind, and body by the blood of Jesus with great repentance, praying together, I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and, and sisters, sisters that, that I have, have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have, what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my fault through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy on your people gathered here. Christ, have mercy on your people gathered here. We confess we have sinned in thought and words and deeds. Lord, have mercy on your people gathered here. Lord, have mercy on your people gathered here. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that schooled through London observance and nourished by your word through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all our heart and be ever united in prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
Deuteronomy Moses spoke to the people saying And now O Israel listen to the statutes and the rules that I am teaching you and do them that you may live and go in and take possession of the land that the Lord the God of our fathers is giving you see i have taught you statutes and rules as the lord my god commanded me that you should do them in the land that you are entering to take possession of it keep them and do them for that you will be your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the peoples who when they hear all these statutes will say surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people for what great nation is there that has a god so near to it as the lord our god is to us whenever we call upon him and what great nation is there that has statutes and rules so righteous as all this law that i said before you today only take care and keep your soul diligently lest you forget the things that your eyes have seen and lest they depart from your heart all the days of your life make them known to your children and your children's children the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm your response O Jerusalem glorify the Lord O, o Jerusalem, Jerusalem glorify the Lord O Jerusalem glorify the Lord O Zion praise your God He has strengthened the bars of your gates He has blessed your children within you Your response O, o Jerusalem, Jerusalem glorify, glorify the, the Lord. Lord He sent out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command He shows down snow like wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. Your response, O, o Jerusalem, Jerusalem, glorify, glorify the, the Lord. Lord. He reveals his word to Jacob, to Israel, his decrees and judgments. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his judgment. Your response O Jerusalem, o Jerusalem glorify, glorify the, the Lord. Lord kindly rise for the gospel acclamation glory and praise to you Lord Jesus Christ your words lord are spirit and life you have the words of eternal life glory and praise to you lord jesus christ Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord chapter 5 verses 17 to 19 at the time jesus said to his disciples do not think that i have come to abolish the law or the prophets I have not come to abolish them but to fulfill them for truly I say to you until heaven and earth pass away not an iota not a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished therefore whoever relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven but whoever does them 
and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven the gospel of the lord praise to your lord jesus christ praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah my dear brothers and sisters today i saw a beautiful court from the writings of cs lewis a famous writer he was telling i believe in christianity as i believe in the risen son i believe in the risen son not to because every morning i am seeing that the sun is rising no but because of that i see everything because of this sun i see everything now today's gospel jesus is telling please look through my eyes try to understand through my mind so see everything as i see then you will be my disciple and you will be considered the great in heaven praise the lord hallelujah so how jesus understood the laws and precepts we often have a negative thinking about any law for example if there is a traffic law or if there are civil laws paying the tax gst and all other things or we follow the traffic laws okay the red signal we how to stop and wait and the speed limit we have to follow this really are we appreciating all these things and following it oh i love it is red okay let me stop i don't think it is out of fear nothing but out of fear isn't it when i have a fear about a law and not having any esteem about these laws whenever it is possible i break it and i will become an example for others to break it and also i criticize always why these people are putting this uh, just collecting money 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 mentality to laws and regulations but on the contrary the first reading of today deuteronomy the person is having such a high esteem about the laws and the precepts god has given and challenging his own people look when you compare and look other nations around you can you see any of the nations having a god so near to them as our god is near to us and his words god is giving us this laws and precepts and he is telling that when you observe these in the promised land and it will be your wisdom and understanding so that when other people look at you they will always telling that oh what a wisdom these people have what an understanding these people have such an esteem regarding the laws and precepts of god and telling not only you have to practice it in your life teach your children and children's children that is your duty praise the lord hallelujah and now coming to jesus jesus was telling i have always a complaint i have always a complaint people thought that i came into this world to despise all the laws and precepts of moses but no i tell you even the heaven and earth may pass away but not even an iota will be changed from the law of god till the ends of the world it will ever remain and it will fulfill for what it is being given praise the lord hallelujah and now jesus is telling therefore whenever you see the things 
the laws and regulations just try to look it through my own eyes and try to understand how i understood this there then we will no more question about it there we will not be afraid of it but we love it and we believe that it is my duty to follow the commandments of god the precepts of the church and the direct directives given by the church authorities are we able to do that we have to change our mind transform ourselves in the mind of jesus amen divine a humble gifts of bread and wine we place them on your altar lord today make them worthy of your love send your blessings from above sanctify these gifts O oh Lord, we pray. O oh, take our hearts, take our mind. Take all we have, make them die, O oh Lord. Take all we have and make them die. Hey brethren, this sacrifice of mine and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept a sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray the prayers of your people along with these sacrificial offerings and defend those who celebrate your mysteries from every kind of danger through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name with our hearts full of praise. Be exalted, O Lord our God, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed, blessed is the one who comes. Blessed, blessed, blessed is the one who comes. Lord, we lift up your name with our hearts full of praise. Be
Be exalted, O Lord our God. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fallen of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and indeed willingly in his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come until you come until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. done. On earth as it is in heaven, 
give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that with the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope at the coming of our savior jesus christ the kingdom the power the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ you set your apostles peace i live with you my peace i give with you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer one another the sign of peace Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Be called the Lamb of God Be called him who takes away the sins of the world Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb Lord I am Lamb not worthy that you should enter into my, my room but only say a say word Lord, and my soul, my soul shall, shall be healed may the body and blood of christ keep us safe for eternal life amen spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament i love i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot now receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen Remember 
when you walked among men. Well, Jesus, you know, if you're looking below, it's worse now than then. Cheating and stealing, violence and crime. So for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time. One day at a time, sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking from you. Just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine. Lord, help me today, show me the way, one day at a time, one day at a time, one day at a time. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, O oh Lord. Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O oh Lord, and cleansing us of all errors, make us worthy of your promise from on high through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's pray for Logos and Logos Ministries. Almighty and eternal God, we praise you and thank you. You have nurtured Logos Retreat Center with the power of the Holy Spirit to reach out to the whole world and to spread your word. Heavenly Father, we implore you to bestow your merciful grace upon Logos Ministries and of each member who we extend their service and offer donations to this ministry. O God, God of divine, divine mercy, shed your merciful light on all service entities of Logos Retreat Center and fill us with thy Holy Spirit. Bless all its endeavors, renew, reform, and regulate all its ministries. Let our aim be only for your glory and to glorify the name of Jesus. We pray, O Lord, that there may be a special outpouring of all kinds of spiritual graces. Let this ministry be conformed with your mighty healing, deliverance, signs, wonders and miracles. O merciful Father, extend your compassionate hands on all those who enter Logos Retreat Center. Bless and renew them with your Holy Spirit so that they may follow you in truth and action. We consecrate Logos Ministries to the Immaculate Heart of Mother Mary the Eucharistic, the Eucharistic Heart of Jesus, Jesus and to the Divine, Divine Mercy Ark. We, we ask all the angels, saints, and holy apostles to pray for the Logos Ministries to the Lord, Lord our God. God. Amen. Amen. Holy Mother of Jesus, pray for us and for Logos Ministries. Saint Joseph, pray for us and for Logos Ministries. Saint Peter, Saint Paul, and Saint Thomas the Apostles, pray for us and for Logos Ministries. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us and for Logos Ministries. Saint Devasahayam, pray for us and for Logos Ministries. Saint Louis de Marillac, pray for us and for Logos Ministries. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, in the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus is the Lord. Now and forever. Now and forever. Jesus is Lord. The Lord is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.
ഹവ് എ നൈസ് ഈവനിങ് ഗുഡ് സ്ലീപ്പ് കംഫർട്ടബിൾ റെസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഓൺ യുവർ ജേർണി ബാക്ക് ലെറ്റ് ദ ഏഞ്ചിൽസ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് പ്രൊട്ടക്റ്റ് യു ആൻഡ് സേഫ് ഗാർഡ് യു ആൻഡ് വെൻ യു എൻ്റർ ഇൻ യുവർ ഫാമിലി യു വിൽ ബി പീസ് ആൻഡ് ജോയ് ഗോഡ് ബ്ലസ് യു ഓൾ താങ്ക് യു ഫാദർ far away from god now i'm coming home the paths of sin too long i've trod lord i'm coming home i wandered far away from god now i'm coming sin to long i've drawn lord i'm coming home coming home coming home never more to roam open are thy arms of love lord i'm coming to roll open by thy arms of love lord i'm coming many precious years now i'm coming home i now repent with bitter tears lord i'm coming home i wasted many precious years now i'm coming home with bitter tears lord i'm coming home coming home coming home never more to roam open wide thy arms of love lord i'm coming home coming to 